This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report, brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News.TV for Tuesday, January 26th, and here are today's top stories. The New York Post, a News Corp property, is reporting that Fox, a News Corp property, is prepared to pounce upon NBC's exiled late night host Conan O'Brien, not yet a News Corp property. According to the Post, talks could begin to bring Conan into the Fox fold as early as this week. Ah. But don't start TiVoing Fox at 11 p.m. Eastern anytime soon because, as you remember, Conan's exit deal from the Peacock will not allow him to compete with NBC until September 1st. And keep in mind that traditionally Fox has not had a great deal of success with late night talk slash entertainment. Case in point, the Chevy Chase show, which lasted a grand total of four weeks. And way back when, in 1986, Joan Rivers' late-night talker fared only slightly better. Stay tuned. And now from our international desk. So you're a cable network, and you may have been just a little bit disrespectful to the president. Are you listening Fox News Channel, NBC, and CNN? Well, then suddenly, your cable network disappears from the channel lineup across the entire country, and for good. Well, that very scenario has just happened in Venezuela. The cable network is RCTV, which is Radio Caracas TV. The president is the one and only Hugo Chavez. And RCTV's reported transgression, per Venezuela's National Media Regulatory Agency, was that the network did not play the national anthem and failed to air a Chavez speech that promoted government unity in its entirety. Now, RCTV is crying nauseabundo, or foul, as there was no due administrative process before the Venezuelan government pulled the plug on the network. And just FYI, five other networks simply disappeared during the same action. Among them, American TV and American Network. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Now, as promised, we bring cable TV marketing pioneer turned new media forward thinker and doer, John Leland, into the TVnews.tv as he presents New Media, New Marketing. A recent report by leading tech industry research firm Forrester Research reinforces the reality that the TV industry can no longer look at its programming from a single screen perspective. In the company's report, U.S. Interactive Marketing Forecast 2009 to 2014, Forrester reinforces the fact that viewers are, of course, spending more time on the web. This increased about 50% from 2007 to 2009, while TV watching remained flat. And while Internet viewing time is still only about one-third of TV viewing time, the Internet's, the Internet's growth trend is clear. Including interactive marketing spending, which the company predicts will more than double from about $25 billion in 2009 to almost $55 billion in 2014, an increase from 12 to 21 percent of total ad spending. What I think is even more of a wake-up call for the TV industry is that Forrester believes, and I quote from the point of view of advertising sales, interactive marketing will cannibalize traditional media. Forrester found that among companies planning to increase their interactive spending, and who isn't these days, a jaw-dropping 60% said that they would increase their interactive spending by taking money away from traditional media. My concern is that if the TV industry doesn't take a more full-hearted, multi-screen, multimedia approach, not only will it lose these new revenues and all the new media revenue opportunities to follow, but unfortunately sooner or later, and probably sooner, it will have to face fundamental challenges, much the way the newspaper industry has been shaken to its foundations by missed online opportunities and the way the music industry nearly lost its lifeblood 
before finding ways to engage its customers through MP3 digital music sales. The full Forrester report is available by visiting Forrester with two R's dot com. And I look forward to continuing this new media, new marketing conversation, both online as well as next Tuesday, right here on the TV News TV. Jeff, back to you. Hey, John, before we let you go, one thing. The TV industry has primarily utilized new media as an incremental marketing driver back to the big screen. But if I understand you correctly, you're saying that the industry should be more focused on creating a viable revenue producing business for each screen, TV, computer, and mobile, and then engage in the obligatory cross promotion process. That's right, Jeff. You get it. But even more than creating programs for each screen, I recommend thinking of the whole interactive program development arena as integrated multi platform media. When each screen works interactively with the others in an integrated way, then they all have cross-platform pro cross promotion built in in a natural way. All right, thanks, John. That sounds like sage advice. We look forward to your report next Tuesday. And if you want to connect with John Leland one-on-one, -on -one, you can. Just email him at john at combridges.com. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at dudewalker.com. Got any nonfiction program ideas you want to pitch? Well, then you should check out the Real Screen Summit, February 1st through the 3rd in Washington, D.C. For information, you can log on to summit.realscreen.com. And for anyone who's even remotely connected with TV or new media PR, listen up. The annual PR Measurement Conference will be held March 23rd at the National Press Club here in D.C. For information or to register, head on over to prnewsonline.com slash measure. Hey, the Super Bowl happens in 12 days, and the TV news with combridges.com will be throwing a live Super Bowl commercials rating party on both Twitter and Facebook all during the event. It's just for the TV industry, and it's guaranteed to be a TV industry first. And you're invited. We'll have more details for you in the days to come. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. Tomorrow, we present top news plus the programming pulse. And that, of course, means that Susan Hibben will be on board. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching, and go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.